right, uh, we're just getting some breaking news here right now on headlines today. It's coming all the way from New York where apparently this shooting that has taken place and reports are that five people have apparently been shot in New York. Sketchy details emerging at this point in time. Uh, these are those visuals that we're getting from New York right now. Five people have been shot uh, and apparently this is emanating near the Empire State Building. Let's go across to Gaurav Savant for more details. These are the latest pictures that we are bringing to you of the shootout outside the Empire State Building in Manhattan in New York. New York City police and fire officers say at least three people confirmed shot, five people suspected shot and there is massive, massive police deployment in this area. You're looking at these pictures that we're getting to you from New York. One person has already been taken into police custody this person has also possibly been shot at. That's the information that is hey, coming in. Sure this shooting me, okay? took place near the intersection of the 33rd Street and the 5th Avenue. 9 a.m. local time. These are pictures that we are bringing to you of a shootout that's being reported from well, Michael, New you can York. See, uh, it's near chaos down here, out in front of the Empire State Building. These are live pictures from Chopper 4 over the corner of 34th Street and 5th Avenue. Most of the activity, if not all of the activity, taking place on 5th Avenue between 34th uh, and 33rd Street. So you can see that they have a large area taped off near the Empire State Building. What we're hearing right now, and these details are continuing to come in, is that at some point, around 9 o'clock, a gunman opened fire, hitting three people, at least one of them critically in Injured, and we're also hearing that the perpetrator, the suspect, was fatally shot as well. Now, we're not sure whether or not that gunshot wound uh, was self-inflicted or whether police weren't involved. Right now, as I said, details are continuing to come in, but a large area around the Empire State Building right now taped off. A police investigation continues. More details as they become available. Michael, back on over to you. Well, right now we can't confirm any of this information that I'm going to give you, but I cannot see or it doesn't appear as though anybody or any uh, NYPD vehicles are rushing around looking for any additional suspects. We can't confirm that, but it just does not appear that way right now. Yes, the, the suspect was fatally injured, uh, fatally shot, and then we also have three other people that were shot apparently by the suspect at around 9 o'clock this morning. But again, details are continuing to come in on this, and uh, I, it would not surprise me if some of this changed. Absolutely, and you can see as I come out a little bit here and come down a few streets now, cops have actually widened the area that they're, they're taping off. A little bit earlier when we first arrived out here, that people were actually able to get closer to the building, and now they're widening this area, like I said, that they've taped off. So crowds of people are gathering several blocks away, uh, hearing about this and wanting to know what's going on. But you're right, this is obviously a very heavily traveled area by tourists and also people who work in the area. It's right outside the Empire State Building, so, uh, you know, that begs the question, you know, was, is that significant uh, in all of this? Was this a random shooting or was this location picked in particular? We don't know yet.